moving on to our next story out of oil and into mining. Um, looks like the big guns in the mining space are basically feeling the pinch right now. Um, the report just came out uh, yesterday. Anglo American is to, going to stop all iron ore and coal operations. What? Well, what I'm, else do they do? Well, Anglo, <laughs> they're uh, not. That's not their big thing. Anglo American is more okay, of a diversified so. miner. Um, they have a lot in platinum and copper. A couple other precious, not precious, but more precious yeah. than iron ore and coal, right, which is apparently um, everywhere or something. <laughs> so, and they're not a huge, huge contributor to the iron ore market, but they are one of the five largest mining companies in the world. Right. And to see them, you know, throwing the towel on two and big what was commodities. It? Just a few months ago, we watched Glencore almost look like they were going to go through the the kind of death throes of of. Um, the debt spiral. So it's really as we see these bigger and bigger companies starting to get into these debt issues and asset sales and to stop production and a lot of things. It's it's really telling us to what's going on. I mean, Rio Tinto just also mentioned that they're cutting their Who dividend. Were the two? And they were one of the strongest balance sheets in the business. Yeah. So that's a, yeah, that's and, a surprise. And BHP Billiton, who has the strongest balance sheet yeah. in the business, actually had their credit rating downgraded. So wow. it's it's when you have the largest companies, the most profitable companies, seeing that, yeah. then you really know that we're. Somewhere we have to be close to yeah. some sort of like market turn on this, right?